Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Your reading starts now. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for our Virgo friends. Welcome all watchers, cross watchers, and subscribers. All right. The Queen of Swords energy. That is Libra energy, Virgo. You are making a decision about someone, someplace, something in your love life this week. The Death card. Here we go. Okay. For some of you, you're actually deciding that you no longer want to be married. The Libra Queen is very important in the reading because the Libra is about partnership. It's also about uh, the law, you know, a legal marriage or a legal you know, like divorces, separations, legal issues. It's like the Judge Judy. And you are making the decision that if a relationship doesn't have a transformation, if the phoenix doesn't rise from the ashes, that you don't want the marriage. Your partner, Virgo, wants great clarity. Your partner's energy is that they want to know what it is that you want to change. Your partner has this Leo energy. They're very strong. They want to maintain the relationship. And their energy with the news that you don't really want to be married anymore uh, sends them into a spiral of just feeling like you're abandoning them, you're leaving them out in the cold, you know, that they don't know what to do. And what you're really asking for here, Virgo, is practical change. So what we see here is that your mutual energy is that there's still a lot of love. I think you may have children together. You both want a victory in the situation. You both want to be able to work through this relationship. I'm getting the Three of Wands energy. The Three of Wands energy is all about you feel as though this person is a good person for you. Your outcome is the Sagittarius Temperance card, which means that both of you will work on this. You'll get some sort of healing. You may go to counseling. Um, we get both of you feeling pretty defensive right now. It looks like there's a lot of old wounds. There's been a lot of situations in the relationship in which it looks as though you had a lot of ego battles. Even though you loved each other, it was like, ta-da, I won the argument. Well, when you win an argument, there's a loser in the room. And so it should be about what's right, not who's right. So your outcome on this is that though you come up with better communication, you're both still maintaining a very egocentric energy. You're both trying to defend yourself about being right, about being the winner. And what I'm seeing here is your outcome. And we're going to clarify everything so we can get a lot of information for you. But your four of cups is the outcome of, I just don't think this is going to work. I mean, you and your partner both feel as though this may not work. Your partner seems much more intent on trying to be self-righteous here than you do you know you're just you just want to be happy I don't really see you wanting to get caught up in who's right what's right or anything else I just get you feeling as though you want to be happy you want to be content you want to have a very good healthy happy relationship all right so you have great clarity I mean, the Ace of Swords says that you'd like to sever the relationship. You, you have this feeling that you do owe it to the relationship to try to make it work, but in many ways, you just don't even want to look at the marriage. You're looking away. You're looking into a future in which you are single, where you sever with that sword the relationship. The Nine of Swords says that you regret marrying. Oh, ouch. You probably regret marrying this person. You certainly regret the fact that you're going to hurt people. You, It does bring you to your knees because, Virgo, you're very spiritual. And what this shows is that you really do feel as though this is a personal failure as well as a failure of spirit, as a failure of, you know, you probably shouldn't have married the person and you probably knew that somewhere along the line. Your person is feeling very closed off to you, Virgo. They don't, you know, look at this. They don't want to hear the truth. Look at, they're looking away from you. They do not want to face the fact that your truth is different from their truth. You're facing this person. You're looking at this person and you're really thinking about what, what you want. But this person has their back turned to you.
And, you know, other than looking at you in a straightforward way, like, well, what are you going to do, Virgo? What are you actually going to do? Um, but this whole time, you know, they want to continue the relationship. So why do we have the strength card here for your person? They just want to march on, even though they're not very happy. Eight of Swords, okay. So at this point in time, what I'm seeing is your person feels very overwhelmed. They feel as though there's not much they can do. They don't feel as though there's an answer, though there is an answer, because when you look at the Five of Coins, the key is here. So what I see is a person who seems to be very, um, very, they have a lot of pride and they don't really want to change. And that, you know, they're going to tell you that they would rather walk away. But I would say, Virgo, it's very manipulative energy. This person is trying to manipulate you into them being willing to walk away, I don't see it as true because when we get this particular card, we see that this devil energy is them trying to to control you, to you know, put you on a string and make you a puppet, which I believe is actually part of the problem. I feel as though in this relationship, that is the issue that makes you want to cut free and be free. Okay, so your mutual energy, why is the Empress card here? You feel as though you were best friends, you know? It feels as though you were best friends before you got married, that you probably spent a long time together in that, that kind of energy. But look at this, boy oh boy, when the two of you fight, it's almost like the house is burning down. It is really ego driven, a lot of very negative ego energy. And f because I don't see ego so much on your part, but I do see ego with your person with the strength card because Leo energy is considered to be the energy of, you know, wanting to win, you know, it's fifth house energy. And so this is Leo, this is Leo, this is Leo. So you really feel as though, you know, while you're trying to manifest something nice and be this person's friend, that you just don't know if it's any longer possible you know I get that the mutual energy between the two of you is that you know you you have a family together it behooves you to make it work you have a friendship but I just get the fact that you you fight unbelievably passive-aggressive manipulative behavior oh my gosh and the clarifier is yet again both of you want to win a battle that really is not going to help you win the war. All right, so we have Sagittarius energy. This is reconciliation. This is trying to work things out. Mm -hmm. But wow, you release it. Wow, I didn't see that coming. I mean, I did, but I didn't. That's a pretty definitive. That's Scorpio energy. That's death card energy. You know, you're willing to work this out if this person, or you're willing to try if this person gives up some of this energy that you see, but I don't see them doing it. After you've told them what you're feeling, this person still does, they're, they're turning manipulative. They're trying to be manipulative, which is where this ego comes in. So what is the seven, seven, seven of wands here? The two of coins. It looks as though I get different energies here. I feel as though you just want to let this go. You want to let the past go. You want it to heal. And if it doesn't heal, you want out. Your person is over here with this feeling of, well, I really think that, you know, we should just hang in there. We should give it a couple of more years and see if it works out. And your response to that is, oh, I don't think so. Here you are in your reading also. Virgo, basically you're unhappy. You don't want this. You understand that this may be the mother of your child. You want this person to, you want to treat this person well. But it also looks as though what's hidden here in this outcome that your person doesn't see is that you may have a love interest in the Queen of Wands. So this is usually a single woman. She's oftentimes the other woman, uh, technically. She's fiery, she's passionate. Let's see how your person feels about, does your person think that you're juggling them? They might. 
Oh, your, your person really feels as though, just let's take a chance. Let's do all the same stuff we've been doing and see if we get a different outcome. And you're, you're not, you're, you will go through a period of time of trying to reconcile. But I would say that that period of time is four months because we have the Four of Cups, that's months. When we get, when we get Minor Arcana, it's months. When we get Major Arcana, we have 14 weeks, which is still three and a half months. We get Major Arcana here that if this isn't healed within five months, that you just, you want it to be over. You'll release that energy. So both of you are coming at this from a different perspective but I also feel as though there's a lot of Leo in the chart of someone here but I feel it might be your person your person wants to carry on as is but you know what here's a problem your person really isn't honest they're not owning their egocentric energy because we have Leo 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 excuse me Leo so all of this fighting energy seems to have the primary source of your partner and Virgo you know life is too short you're too busy you don't really want to have a battle every day you get up every day you put your shoes on you go to work and you want to be happy and this person is just uh, chaotic. So let's see what the Moonology deck has for you in terms of the advice from Spirit and the Universe. Let's see what we have here. What do we have for our Virgo friends? What's the advice for Virgo? A time for healing. Well, okay, so you're healing and someone else is healing. So it does say that you should make an effort to do counseling or do whatever. Um, and it says balance spirituality and practicality. I like that. Full moon in Pisces. And that that's what I see you trying to do, Virgo. But I don't see that you have a partner who's on the same page. I don't feel as though they want it. The energy that you're having, Virgo, is gaining momentum. You just feel as though you'll go through the paces, you'll do the right thing, you'll honor the relationship by doing everything that you can do. But I feel as though for many of you, you've, done, you've been down this particular path before with this person, and I just think that they're going to stubbornly stick to this manipulative behavior. I see no changing on the part of your person. What's your response to that, Virgo? Transform and unveil your gifts. You know, this is all about you coming into your own. You know, you're willing to transform. We have the death card. You would rather have an honest relationship with someone who speaks honestly, who isn't ego driven. That's who you are. You know, you're you're just you're shape shifting. A lot of people don't really know you, Virgo. What they think they know and the real you are very different. And so this is really coming into who you are and making it very clear. Track down your fears and desires. So what we're seeing is, you know, it's all about being your authentic self. It's about your ability to make the magic in your own life and to live in a very honest way, to be who you are with the freedom of owning everything that you're about. See from a higher perspective. So it does call on you to be kind. You know, it does look like this could be a mother of a child for you or you're the mother of their child. Um, but it really looks as though you're being called on by spirit to do this in a judicious manner. But of course you will. You want everything to be done correctly with this Libra queen. That's where I'm going to leave it, Virgo. It does look like you are probably headed towards the end of a significant relationship, one in which you would like to end. So sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. It's been a joy. Thanks so much, Virgo.